working on um, printing prosthetic hands from this really cool community called Enabling the Future that open sources all the 3D models and files for people to 3D print these prosthetic hands. I printed one out just to see what it was like, be able to build one, and then have it on display for the guests to come in and see real world applications of 3D printing. There was this little girl who came in, as she was walking out, she saw the hand that I had printed and said, I want one. Turns out that she had a bit of a difference on her hand on her left side. I was so excited. Um, we told her that you know we would love to work with her and build her a hand, see if we could help her. She came in that Monday. We measured her hand, we took a plaster cast of her hand, and then later got a 3D scan of that. We've just been prototyping, you know, building something, having her try it on, see what's wrong with it, and then modifying it and building it again. Once you become a preteen and then teen, basically it's a bit harder to do stuff if you have a birth defect like I. Start learning how to hold things like balls and stuff. That way um, I can actually hold things that are going to be harder in the future. We're being approached by people who say, my child was born missing the fingers on her hand. She's beginning to think it would be really cool to have one of those robo hand things. We team them up with a volunteer who uses this 3D printer, and they make a mechanical hand for a kid that gives them the ability to lift things, but also gives them the ability to be the coolest kid in the classroom. Today, it's prosthetic hands. We're working on forearms, robotic arms, soon it will be legs and other body parts. In a few years, I think anyone who needs a prosthetic hand is going to be able to get one quite inexpensively. Just want to make kids smile by giving them something that makes them feel really good.